Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing What If Deku Was a Cyborg Octoling Part 10. We start off with Deku going to Kraken. On his way there, he decides to bring Scarlet along. Why did you decide to bring me, sir? One is because I wanted some company. Second, I need to talk to you about some things that are going down. What do you mean, sir? <sighs> Plans are going to have to be moved up because of what moves All Might is planning to make. What is All Might planning to do, sir? He's going to try a hostile takeover of the safe zone. As Silver stands up out of his seat in the helicopter while they're moving. What do you mean, sir? You can't do that. With enough heroes backing him up, he could. But, luckily, he's just shy of that many heroes. So it won't be long before he gathers the numbers. With Silver going to UA, makes things a bit more hard, difficult, as you can tell. I did some research. He won't be able to do it for at least a month or two months, whatever. Because there's a plan to go to the USJ for UA. So, we have like two months to prepare. At least. At least that's some good news. But still, hearing that... That All Might is planning to attack the safe zone is absurd. Hasn't the Hero Safety Commission tried to stop him? Yes, they have. They've tried to convince him. All logic's gone out the window. The fact that the President's on board with the idea. Our ally is trying to do his best to stop it, but it looks like it'll be inevitable eventually. We can only delay it. Unfortunate. Uh, sir, we'll be landing in two minutes. Why don't we just send an attack? Get rid of All Might. Crush the thing before it starts. Getting rid of All Might and they find out we did it will only make things worse. Dying on the battlefield and dying by mysterious causes is two different ways to go out, sir. Go out, Scarlet. And either one can be used as a, m a martyr. Oh. I didn't think of it that way, sir. Ah. <sighs> It's not your fault. And then the helicopter lands. As they get out. Ah, uh, crack. What do you want to show me? Ah, uh, this way, sir. As they go to an underwater facility where Kraken has managed to hook, his, hook her vessel to it. As they go down an elevator that was made. So why do you want me here? We managed to find a mutation type cork person that has the ability of pretty much watching the entirety of Japan with their cork. As Deku raises an eyebrow and she's here, thing is, she's not really alive per se, she's semi alive. As the elevator opens, and they see a huge control room, and in the middle, a person in a tube. This would be the person. She's a... Her quark allows her to basically view any place in Japan, or within a radius. So we could technically have cameras anywhere. Interesting. This could be very useful, Kraken. So this is a downside. We can only use her power... Three times a day. Why only three? Because of her state, we use it more than three times a day, she will die. Again, she's semi-alive. That's why we're only limited to three times a day. That's understandable. Have you tried healing? No, sir. It seems that we can't do, really do anything. Her state cannot be changed. Hmm... As Deku looks at the girl in the tube, there may be a way to fix her state, but it'll take me time to make. But just keep her here and do that. 
and I want you to use at least two of those a day on whatever the Hero Safety Committee plans. Secret meetings, hero meetings, whatever. But to that last one, only use if it's necessary for the days. Of, of course, sir. Good. Now, I'm sure this is not all you wanted to tell me or show me. Oh, yes, sir. So, you know where All Might's playing something. Yes, I know that. I think I may know a way that we can delay him. What do you mean? You're probably not going to like this. We attack the USJ. We attack the USJ. As Deku has a little bit of a irritative look. We are not going to attack the USJ. But sir, it's a way to delay All Might's plan. We get him injured, he won't be able to commit the plan for at least a while. Kraken? The reason I'm not sending anyone there is because other people may know of the USJ event. Or people there that's going to have it. I understand, sir. I will not be attacking the USJ. But I will give you permission to attack another place. As Kraken looks up, I can't believe I'm saying this. Destroy all records of the mutation type experiments and everything. And steal all the information and obliterate all the knowledge within the Hero Safety Committee. A stealth job, sir? Yes. After you do, I don't care what you do. You could blow up the building. I don't care. Just get those files. Right away, sir. And then Scarlet follows Deku as they leave. Why tell her to attack that? If we get the video evidence and words, papers of the experiments, the executions, all that, and post them, people's view on mutation side course is going to change. And then not just the heroes will have a problem, but the Hero Safety Commission will have a problem. A total uproar will cause their whole system to collapse. Villains, heroes, civilians will be taking arms against them. And they won't have enough resources to fight back. Smart move, sir. But there is one other downside to my plan. And what would that be? People getting caught. Fair point, but I don't think anyone will be caught, sir. I hope not either. But anyway, I hope Silver is doing good on her first day at UA. Uh, did you ever give her an upgrade? Yes. I'm not saying what, but her upgrade is special. And then we switch over to Silver at UA for her first day. <sighs> Great, I gotta stay here with this. Bakugo Kid and Izumi, the daughter of All Might, and Ingo. I just need to find her location. She thinks. As she walks in, she knows to raise her head. As she sits down, Mina Ashio, Ashio, whatever, comes over and says, Hello, my name is Mina. Nice to meet you. Silver shakes her hand. I'm Silver. Nice to meet you, too. My cork is acid. What's yours? My cork's called Octoling. That would explain my appearance. As she refers to herself. As Mia's about to talk, Izumi comes over. Hey, I thought I said you were not supposed to come back. And she's about to throw a punch at Silver, but gets caught by a scarf by Aizawa. What do you think you're doing? Let me go. Do you not know who my father is? I do, and he has no authority here, as I am your teacher. As Eraserhead lets go of Izumi, you better not do that again, or I will expel you. As Izumi gives a death glare to Eraserhead, Eraserhead just shrugs it off. So, today we'll be doing the cork exam, or cork test. 
then they get to go to the changing rooms, they change, they go to the courtyard to do their tests. This is the order. Silver, Todoroki, Izumi, Bakugo, then rest is canon. And that's how I'll be doing that. And then we go to... We're going to go ahead and skip to the 2v2s. Mina and Silver versus Izumi and Bakugo. As, as Silver says, Mina, why don't you go find the bomb? I'll take care of Izumi and Bakugo. Sure thing. As she runs off, she starts placing little devices on the wall. And she's walking around the corner. They're, they're looking for Silver. Come out, mutation freak. We're going to re rearrange your face. As then, they hear an echo. I'd like to see you try. As Bakugo just flies forward, as Izumi says, Hey, wait! I want the first hit. As Bakugo turns a corner and gets stalked by Silver, sending him flying into a wall. As then... Silver pulls out an ink gun and shoots Izumi, stunning her. Bakugo gets out of the wall and throws an explosion at her. Silver ducks down beneath the explosion and kicks him in the face, setting him up a floor. Izumi gets up and rushes at Silver, about to punch her in the face. She barely managed to dodge, but then Bakugo came out of nowhere and hit Silver, sending her into a wall. As she's leaning down, as All Might's just watching with a smile on his face, you deserve what you're getting, freak. As Bok goes about to throw another one, Silver grabs his leg and throws him at Izumi, hitting him in the wall as she gets up and starts running. Where do you think you're going? As Izumi tosses Bakugo off him, off her. As they're running after her, Mina touches the bomb. The heroes win! As Bakugo and Izumi are mad. That's what you get for focusing on me and not my teammate. As Silver walks away in a smirking tone. As she's about to leave, Izumi comes to meet her at the gate. I'm about to hit some payback since I couldn't hear you in class because of the teacher. As she's about to punch Silver, she gets knocked out by something in the back of the neck. As another Octoling knocked her out. Thank you, brother. No problem. As he refers to metal, another octoling. So metal, should we uh, go home now? Yes. They walk. Or they are walking home. Bakugo helps Izumi up, and they're on their way home. And we are going to actually skip a little bit, and we'll head to. Uh, you know, we'll just head over to uh, I and see what she's doing. As I has made her speeches, as she's gotten fame and a whole lot of support by not mutation type people, but the regular people as well. So much so that she's managed to stop violence altogether within the safe zone. No thieves, no robbery. The villain rate is absolutely zero. And yet All Might wants to tear it down. As she's telling this to the people, All Might, your number one hero, wants to take down the safe zone. Where we live in peace. If they do that, we won't have homes anymore. We'll be no we'll be called villains probably for the rest of our lives. Do you all want that? As people in the crowd say, No, we don't want to be called villains. That's what I thought. We shouldn't just stand by. 
But we shouldn't just cause violence either. We should tell them to stop trying to tear down the safe zone. If they do this, they're going to cause more problems for themselves. As the crowd agrees, as in his protest, and this speech inspired so many people that it gave people enough confidence to spread this speech all the way to the front doorsteps of the Hero Safety Commission building. As the president calls an all night. All night, I want you to stop gathering forces to try to take down the Hero Safe Zone or Mutation Safe Zone. What? But I had your support like a few days ago. Have you not seen the riots? If you take down that safe zone, the backlash on us is going to be heavy. I don't care. I'm going to grab the support and take down the safe zone and prove that those mutation-type freaks deserve to be executed. I hate them too, All Might, but you're just going to cause more problems. Yet, they're just living free lives. We cut their electricity and water all the time. They do not live freely. We are still in control of the safe zone. They're nothing but our puppets. So you don't have to destroy the safe zone. I don't care. I want stuff there I'm going to get. Tell me what the stuff is and maybe I can get them for you. The warehouses within the mutation type safe zone. I would like them. The factories as well. All night, I can't do that. Why? If I do that, we're pretty much getting rid of the only way the mutation type population makes money. We do that. The riots are only going to get worse. Your little thing will not just start riots, but guarantee they would burn those buildings to the ground before giving them to you. It's all my even more angered look. Listen, I don't care. I want them. You either give them to me or I'll take them by force. I will not be giving them to you. And this is an order. Stop your petition to take down the safe zone. As All Might bursts out of the room in anger. <sighs> Who do you think she is? I'm the number one hero. I can do whatever I want. <sighs> As Alex enters. So I saw an angry All Might pass by. Axel. What do you want? Uh, just to say that the speeches and the people of I are doing a whole lot better. Also, uh, there's a bit of a problem. And what would that be? It seems All Might is sending an assassin at this person called I. As her eyes fill with anger. Are you kidding me? As she starts to break the table with her own strength. <sighs> then the hero to intercept. The thing is, we can't. Why not? Because the hero that's going to assassinate I is already in the mutation safe zone. <sighs> Alright, hear about this. If that person gets caught, tell them they were a corrupt hero that betrayed and is a is a ex-hero. I right, will do that. Good. Now leave. I need some rest. As that Axel leaves, if he picks up the phone to call, what is it? As I was just sitting on a couch, you got an assassin coming your way. Just letting you know. Oh, I know. As it changes to I's perspective. As there is a hero in a chair all beaten up. Yet, yeah, we got him here right... We have him here right in front of me. We got all the information we needed. How All Might tried planning to take the stuff. The factories, to tear down the safe zone. We got it all. This guy was... <laughs> may have been close to All Might, but he's such a coward. He gave up everything after like 10 minutes of being hit. And being tortured. Such cowards. Also, you have permission to kill him. Straight from the Hero Safety Commission President's mouth. As her frown 
turns into a smile. Really? So is there any uh, other way I could kill him? Or is there a specific way I have to do it? No, any way is necessary. You can do it in any type of way. Good. Because the man's going to be dead here in a few minutes. All right, I gotta go. Bye, I. Bye, Axel. As they hang up, now, now, I only have one more question for you, and I'll let you go. As Hera looks at her, tell me, where is Inko Midoriya? As the man gives her location, good hero. As then. She pulls out a pistol and shoots the hero in the head, killing him. <sighs> get rid of the body, please. Yes, ma'am. If they get rid of the body, and text Deku the location of Inko. Mm, good. So, uh, as they're on their way back from the location, Scarlet, I have a mission for you. And also, you can grab, you know what, grab Black Eyes. Seriously, you pairing me with her again? Yes. She needs to calm her anger, and this person you're going to capture on the same day of the USJ event will have her calm her anger by taking it out on her. After you're done, take, uh, after you're done kidnapping her, take her to this location. Sure thing. And that's pretty much going to wrap up part 10. In part 11, I'll be doing the USJ. I hope you'll like this part. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content.